We are in tenth canto, chapter eight. We missed last time till chapter forty-two. Today we'll go continue with chapter the text from chapter eight, tenth canto. Now sound is not coming. They says now is a good sound. Sound is coming. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Ittam vidita tatvayam gopikayam sa ishvara vaishnavim vait non mayam putrasne himayim vibhu. Itam vidit tatvayam gopikayam sa ishvara. Mother Yashoda, by the grace of the Lord. Sorry, more, more loud, please. Yeah. Radhe, it's okay now? Somehow, but it's still, it's not reaching to them. Radhe, Radhe. You, yeah, you increase little volume possible. You can increase volume. Mother Yashoda, by the grace of the Lord, could understand the real truth. But then again, the Supreme Master, by the influence But then again, the Supreme Master, by the influence of the internal potency, Yogmaya inspired her to become absorbed in intense maternal. Radhe, Radhe, you're muted again. Prabhu. Associate of all in this uh, Radha Mohan Leela, these associates are not ordinary. Even it is said, by the grace of the Lord. The word came from over here. Last time that we were talking about, about this
the constant practicing mood becomes deeper and deeper feeling also become condensed the thickness is there in the feeling when the feeling in condensed and slowly slowly we are able to understand this relation very clearly though the lords all leela he is performing all these leela to just please devotee and not only pleasing lord want that my devotee should be always merge themselves they should be always involved in this type of feeling so he wants because he loves us a lot radharani loves us a lot and after understanding that radharani loving us a lot we have to also see as it is said that that the what is the real truth real truth means who we are and what is our position here lord's yog maya again pushed mother yashoda to feel this maternal affection for her son Uh, it is many time i heard that they were also saying in the absence of yog maya many things are not understandable so yog maya always helping the devotee to bring near to the lotus feet to the lord now prabhupada is saying in his purport although mother yashoda understood the whole philosophy of life at the next moment she was overwhelmed by affection for her son by the influence of yoga maya unless she took care of her son krishna she thought how could he be protected this happens after sambandh gyan Mother Yashoda is here a symbol of to awakening the sambandh gyan of a devotee. So now she is thinking, how could he be protected? She could not think otherwise, and thus, with this maternal affection, she forgot. all her philosophical speculation what she was thinking just before it is said these were her speculation so in love there is no place 
for speculation. This is very clear over here. Prabhupada is doing, uh, saying. This forgetfulness is described by Srila Vishwanatha Chakravarti Thakur as being inspired by the influence of Yoga Maya. Mohana Sadharmayam Mayam. Materialistic people are captivated by Mahamaya. Whereas devotees by the arrangement of the spiritual energy are captivated by Yoga Maya. In our way of this mood, our spiritual energy is Srimati Radharan. Radhe Kishori ji, you have mute. took her son on her lap as before.
You are still muted, Joey. To engage. This feeling to bring us in the loving affection of our yesterday. Keep on eyes, keep on watching this navigator. It's just behind the navigator we need to be there. And just following the instruction, what Gurudev is saying. Because we want to know something. We want to develop, and this development is not possible in the absence of bona fide spiritual master or in the absence of a strong navigator. So, Krishna has shown the universal form. And just after mother is forgetting, one thing is also clear that Lord wants to increase this deep mood of a devotee to go more and more deeper. Is always doing this kind of leela, not only for mother Yashoda. Most importantly for the people, for the devotees of this Kali Yoga. Prabhupada is saying in his purport again now, Mother Yashoda regarded the vision of the universal form. within Krishna's mouth as an arrangement of Yoga Maya. Like a dream. As one forgets everything after a dream, Mother Yashoda immediately forgot the entire incident. As per my limited thinking power, I can instead there is a message also in this in this verse. That in this world, in this material world, everything like a dream. And the Lord help us to forget this entire dream. So most of the thing that how much we are ready, this is very important here. Are we really ready like Mother Yashoda with this loving, affectionable, affectionate mood? I 
ஆர் வி ரியலி ரெடி டிட் பி எக்செப்ட் the all instructions of our buddha fide spiritual master there is no difference between other mon and buddha fide spiritual master actually at the energy level the lord is also powerful as much powerful we know to delete the all entire incident in the material world but how much we are prepared for that mother yashoda is fully prepared for that as a natural feeling of affection very nice word has been used over here natural feeling of affection <laughs> not artificial natural feeling of affection increased the same thing we have to also increase natural feeling of affection fabricated not fabricated or this uh material coated feeling no she decided to herself now let this incident be forgotten yes definitely we also should leave many things what is not useful in our life alone we are not able to understand what is not useful or what is useful in our life our spiritual master bona fide spiritual master will tell us and after listening him or learning from him through him we have always to forget what is not useful for us and we have and we have to always keep in our mind what is useful for us she said i don't mind here is my son only son let's me kiss him this was a bad dream actually this is true but the pragad sambandh gyan this thick deep loving affection relationship couldn't disturb this mood the same thing if we try to reach the level of mother ishoda loving affection mood here is my son let me kiss him text 45 priya chop nishidh bhishcha sankh yogasya satvatah upgiya man mahatmayam harim saman yatatmajam त्रिया चोप निषिद्भिश्च सांख्य योग सात्वते द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड आर स्टडी थ्रू द थ्री वेदास hymns of vedas the upanishads the literature of sankhya yoga and the other vaishnava literature
so highly elevated all everything so uh, were there but yet mother yashoda considered that supreme personal her ordinary child it is also said one time kesa baba said that if you consider him bhagwan very like then he said oh the sambandh like is small or the same level if you are thinking big he is very big there is no limit how big he is bhagwan the opulence about opulence then opulence you don't know the opulences are just praying in his in his lotus feet opulences are praying sat padanguli nakhe opulences are there in sat padanguli nakhe just with the light Ashwarya is there, just in the tiny part, not biggest thing. And if someone wants to see Ashwarya, it's immense, beyond any description. So that's why the sambandha. is very important in our this vaishnava tradition is glorification or glorification vedas are tied upanishads are upanishad are saying how much we can do veda says no there is no even after this veda even these vedas words are is himself his word even these shrutis are saying that i we are not able to glorify if shrutis and vedas are in purana no shrutis are saying like this where is our position that's why it's there sambandh you consider it small or the same level it's very easy simple way to attain him to attain his love to make him really his your own like the different kind of relation in this material world but the taste of this material relationship is totally different from the taste of this spiritual energetic relationship only for those who tasted bona fide masters with their intense practice only by their mercy little one drop of their mercy it is possible for us shri guru charane rati teise uttama gati that's why it is said if we want our uttama gati <laughs> uttam gati comes through bona fide spiritual master not by your effort forget it forget that you are by with your practice you are able to do something no no chance no development this is firm truth text for five trayya chopanishad vishcha sankhya satvade sorry now the purport what prabhupada is saying in the context of this text 45 as stated in bhagavad gita 
by the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna. The purpose of studying the Vedas to understand Him. Veda Veda is Chai Sarvaid Am Eva Vediyaha. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained to Sanatana Goswami that there are three purposes of Vedas in the Vedas. One is to understand, I think this is a very important line coming now. What Mahaprabhu said to Sanatana Goswami that there are three purposes in the Vedas. One is to understand our relationship with Krishna, Radharani, Sambandha. Another is to act according to that relationship, Abhideya. And the third is to reach the ultimate goal, Prayojana. How in very short, Mahaprabhu told about how simply this, we are so fortunate as we in our in Gaudiya, Vaishnava, in Mahaprabhu traditions. In this parampara. It just took out the nectar through the Vedas and Upanishads and Puranas and said the three things. He is not saying for only some Sanatana Goswami. Mahaprabhu is knowing everything. He is none of them. Krishna. That this will reach to the people. This will reach to the devotee. Or somehow... Desirable devotees, eagerness devotee will be under, will be able to understand. So very simply, the three things he took out of the Vedas and said: Sambandha, Abhideya, and Priyojana. First, to understand relationship. Second. Abhideya means act according to the relationship. And third is reach to the ultimate goal. Priyojan. Very clearly Mahaprabhu said that try to understand through this relationship how you need to behave to understand your constitutional position and then after understanding the where is your position the sarupa where you really need to go Many times Gurudeva is also saying, if we don't know to do seva or service over here, what seva and service we will do there? So this is very important. The meaning of the word we know. But practicing is only possible under the guidance of spiritual master. This is true. If you are not able to do seva over here, how we will do over there? So, it is very important to understand. Unfortunately, the connection is coming and going. I don't know that. Uh, um, and maybe you are listening.
the word priyojana means very nice definition is necessities taking breath coming in and out very necessary to keep, necessary to keep this body alive in the absence of this respirational system body will stop working or for the moment if we close our mouth and nostrils to take air in and throwing out we feel uneasy and the ultimate necessity is explained by sri chaitanya mahaprabhu prem pumartho mahan the greatest necessity for a human being is the achievement of love greatest necessity for a human being is the achievement of love same to keep this body alive this respiratory taking breath a living breath is necessary or for this but this for the transcendental form we all know that we are not body and if we want to keep alive our transcendental form we have to take necessary step in this necessary step that we have to learn what is love how to do love and how to live with love real meaning of love we have to understand love for the supreme personality of god hai no doubt we all vaishnavas are very much careful about each other we have this love we have to increase more and more more, and more. considering that this is the only necessity in the spiritual life here we see that mother yashoda is on the highest stage of necessity mother yashoda through this shrimad bhagavatam mother yashoda is an perfect example and she is on the highest stage of necessity for she is completely absorbed in love for krishna my son that's it my son kanaiya nothing is to read it understand doesn't matter your maya is working or not working as i think yog maya is also kind of navigator i think on that level mother ishoda level when the things are working when the yog maya is working like that is just giving a navigation but the heart of mother ishoda is not ready because the both thoughts are coming you see what she chosen the meaning that what we choose yog maya is doing her work okay but there is some personal choice also what we want to choose what we want to pick among the many stone after realizing 
which one is diamond which one is different ruby huh? the sapphire the topaz the choice is our choice is in our hand like in material world we choose as per our um, to give to, to satisfy ourselves I mean, in spiritual world this your spiritual identity with your spiritual identity we have to also understand the necessity in the beginning the vedic purpose is pursued in three ways right in the sanskrit means three three by karma kanda gyan kanda and upasana kanda these all three kandas means these are insisted or the these are available in vedas because of the part these all kandas are part of vedas one comes to worship narayana or lord vishnu when parvati asked lord mahadeva lord shiva what is the best method what is the best method of upasana or worship lord shiva answered aradhanam sarvesham vishnor aradhanam param aradhanam sarvesham shri radhar ar shri radhar aradhanam param maybe shiva was hiding something i think maybe i am wrong vishnu he took at the place of name of sri radharani took the name of narayan this is hiding or forgotten maybe maybe i cannot challenge so our param bhagavat says mahadev maharaj not possible vishnu pasana or vishnu aradhana worship of lord vishnu yeah in the highest stage of perfection as realized by devaki not realized by mother yashoda vishnu upasana was the matter of mother devaki mathura but here yeah mother yashoda performs no upasana no need for she has developed transcendental ecstatic love for krishna ecstatic love ecstasy in what happens in ecstasy forgetting even himself bodily consciousness in ecstasy the body consciousness is not there so It, when it is said in the beginning that she got already high, Yashoda is stage of highest necessity. She is there. Meero kanaya. Only one thing she remembers. Hmm. 
therefore her position is better therefore her position is better than that of devaki this is also very clear in shrimad bhagavatam prabhupad clear the position of devaki position of narayan bhakta and position of radha mohan bhakta is are totally different no match it's not more i'm not it's not said he's not said that more or less he say is different something but not exactly not near to prayojan in order to show this shrila vyas deva enunciates this verse tayya kopanishad vi he used in sanskrit this word tayya chopanishad vischa tayya chopanishad vischa etc when a human being enters into the study of vedas to obtain vidya means knowledge he begins to take part in human civilization then he advances further to study the upanishads and again and gain brahma gyana impersonal realization of the absolute truth and then he advances still further to sankhi yoga in order to understand the supreme controller who is indicated in bhagavad gita param brahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhavan purusham shashvatam when one understands that purusha the supreme controller to be parmatma one is engaged in the method of yoga dhyana vasishta tad gatena manasa pashyanti yam yoginah but mother yashoda has surpassed all these stages surpass all these stages in the means she gone through these stages no she hold the necessity she understood through her feeling and started enjoying this real love and this real love given her everything so after this her mood is not going anywhere else there there here there here there to understand many many this understanding this learning this learning this information collecting she understood no 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 these are uh, just uh, giving deviation of mind no i no need that she holds at one place one thing 
So you hold the necessity. The keeping her absorbed in love in her son. She surpassed all these stages just by holding this necessity. Others are meaningless. Surpassed means no meaning. What I will do to knowing Veda, what I will do to knowing Upanishadas in the absence of love, it's coming here in the absence of love, your whole Gyan or your whole Karmakan, your whole different kind of Upasanas are useless. Here it is said they are not useless in other way. No. If with them there is no love, then they are useless. Doing Karmakanda, if you, all the result of Karmakanda, if you are not offering in the lotus feet of Sri Radha Mohan, this all Karmakandas are useless. Cannot give you anything. Because if you are going through that some demigod, they are also watching. You are Vaishnava, we are Vaishnava. Karmakandas are somehow at some stages until the this uh, level doesn't increase is okay not all the time that the whatever the trouble coming in my bhajan or in my process of this to understand this loving relationship with my east dev that the please the related energy should help me to stop some blockages, to destroy some blockages. And whatever the problem and troubles coming to stop these troubles, and let me increase on the path of this spiritual understanding, real spiritual understanding, near real necessity of this life. Means you are doing this for what? To increase your love. If your Karmakanda is not to increase the love for in the lotus feet of Sri Radha Mohan, this Karmakanda is useless. Your Upasana, your all Vedic rituals are useless until there is no love. And the purpose of doing all these different practices, different ritual should be also the to develop our connection. There should be only one thing. Whatever the chantings are there, mantras are there. With the help of all this different energy. My spiritual life. My necessity, real necessity. My goal of life should, I should be able to achieve this. Otherwise, these things are useless. Very clearly it is said over there. So, Mother Yasuda surpassed all these stages. She has come to the platform of loving Krishna as her beloved child. Mero Ganaya, nothing else. And therefore, she is accepted, accepted to be on the highest stage of spiritual realization. Therefore, she is accepted to be on the highest stage of spiritual realization. Otherwise, if you like a normal mother, then no mother Yeshwada name is possible over here. The absolute truth is realized in three features. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavan, Iti, Sab, 
सभ्यते ब्रह्म परमात्मा एंड भगवान इन दिस थ्री फ्यूचर्स बट सी इज इन सच एक्सटेसी अगेन द वर्ड एक्सटेसी फॉर गेट फुलनेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग इज एक्सटेसी ऑन मेटेरियल लेवल और एनी अदर लेवल और एक्सेप्ट ओनली वन मेमोरी कीपिंग इन मेमोरी that she does not care to understand what is brahma i know ni who is brahma what is parmatma or what is bhagavan no need what is bhagavan bhagavan has personally descended to become her beloved child he descended couldn't stop parmatma brahma parmatma bhagwan couldn't stop himself in front of this type of love because necessity of life was fixed in madhurya soda and this fixation forces the three features of pers- supreme personality to descend so we our force if our nature is like this it will force bhagwan parmatma brahma to appear this is clear by madhurya soda therefore there is no comparison to madhurya soda's good fortune as declared by shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ramya kajit upasana brajavadhu varge ya kalpita if someone wants without doing upasana of braj gopis or to respect the mood if someone wants to enter or someone wants to stay here even krishna wants it is not possible for them to be here in vrindavan the power of krishna doesn't work in vrindavan this is also very clear here only becoming krishna's devotee it's not criticizing but it's opening the very showing very clearly he here through what prabhupad is saying mahaprabhu is saying very clearly ramya kajit upasana braj badhu vargena ya kalpita wander ramya spend your time in a different upasana without the upasanas of sakhi that's why gurudev many times say sakhi is are important very important didn't didn't did anything for sakhi or gopis trying to reach the same thing someone is trying to reach mahaprabhu without nitanda the absolute truth the supreme personality of godhead may be realized in different stages as the lord says in bhagavad gita ye yatha mam prapadintate tam tathayv bhajamya ham mam vartmanu vartante मानुष्य पार्थ सर्वस एज मेन सरेंडर अन टू मी आई रिवॉर्ड देम अकॉर्डिंगली दैट्स इट चॉइस इज आवर्स नाउ 
everyone follows my path in all respects person of partha one may be a karmi a gyani a yogi and then a bhakta or prema bhakta mahaprabhu is right uh, prabhu is writing there is very clear my then a bhakta or prema bhakta <laughs> yeah. but the ultimate stage of realization is prema bhakti as actually demonstrated by mother yashoda with the example of mother yashoda as everything where is is very crystal clear so here we conclude today till text 45 next sunday text 46 will be there thank you very much today because of the disturbance of this uh, electronic energy maybe something reached to you and something not even i try to say many things though it is my humble obeisance in the feet of lord vishnuvas and shri gurudev while saying or while explaining a bit i didn't explain i just share and read if i am wrong anywhere please go oh, forgive me showing this light of understanding more and more maybe one day possibly i will be able to do se- do this seva continue again the nanda pranam in the lotus feet of the guru jay jay shri radhe